Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here with another scary paranormal ritual. This game is called Cherik or Cherik Cherik, also known as the Little Devil Game. So, how do you play? Well, first we're going to get into like what you need exactly. So, we're going to scroll down. So, the only things you need to play is you need a quiet room, which, look at this. 360, we have. I'm sorry if that made you dizzy. <laughs> um, we got a piece of paper right here, which we got. We got a writing utensil. I got a pencil. It's kind of broken, though, but we're just going to just gonna ignore that. Um, let me just set this up right here. Perfect. All right. We also need a needle. Which, you know, we have a needle right here. We need thread. Uh, you need a spool of thread. It has to be, you know, it could be any color, but, like, it's recommended to either use black or red. And, uh, wait, where is it? Where did I put the thread at? I lost the thread, guys. Uh, is it still in here? Did I take it out? Oh, no, it's still in here. It's, ow. It's still in here. Oh my god. Oh, I, I got it. It's right here. We got red ones. Jesus. Anyway, and then, uh, so, quiet room, piece of paper, utensil, a needle, thread, small sewing scissors, which we got here. Chop, chop, chop. I don't know why you need sewing scissors specifically. Like, I had regular scissors, but it specifically said sewing scissors, so I went out and got me a pair. I don't know why that even matters, but yeah, I got it anyway. Uh, a bow, a bow compass, which, you know, is optional, but recommended. I don't actually have a bow compass, and went to the store, couldn't really find one, so we're not going to use that. It is recommended, so you don't really need it. You got a candle, which we got right here. A match or a lighter, which we got here. And finally, questions, which we do have questions. I got some questions, so... First things first, we got to do the preparation and stuff. So, the preparation, it, you know, basically, the all, the all the preparation really is, is just, you know, doing, like, writing on a piece of paper and the board and stuff. So, we're going to complete the board real quick, and then I will be right back with you. Guys, I finished the board. I finished the board, and voila! This is the finished product. So... Basically, what you have to do with this board right here, so first you have to write a little, little dot in the middle of the paper, right? You have to write a little dot, and then you have to make a giant, well, okay, first, first you have to uh, make a giant circle. The circle has to be as perfect as possible, um, you know, I did as perfect as I could, but... You know, I'm not really good at drawing perfect circles. And then you draw a little dot right in the middle of the circle. Or, yeah, circle. And then you draw a little devil around the dot, which I did. You see that, guys? You know, the little dot. I made the little dot where his heart should be. I mean, he's a demon, so he probably doesn't even have a heart. But, yeah. Then, after that. You write the alphabet all the way around the outer side of the circle. So you start at the very top of his head and then work all the way down till you get the Z. Same with the numbers. You you do one through nine. So you start at the very top of his head and go like one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all around. And then you do yes at the top of his head and you do no at the bottom of his uh, feet. So, uh, yeah, this is the board. One last look. Board is officially complete. So, yeah, that's how you do it, basically. So, basically, the first step in this ritual, which is basically the preparation for the ritual, need this board. It has to be exactly like this, which uh, I did. So, let's look. So, the invitation. So, with the invitation, so we need the lights off. Which, we'll turn off the lights when we're literally about to start. Uh, pl place a candle near the piece of paper. 
Okay, we'll light the candle as soon as we get ready to start. Also, using the sewing scissors, so we have to cut a th piece of thread 20 inches and then, you know, kind of fold it, make it 10 inches. Okay. And then kind of like, then tie it basically. Um, okay, and then plain. Okay. We're going to, I'm going to thread the needle real quick. So I'll be right back. Everything is set up. So first days first, we're going to have to, we're going to have to get the needle. Okay. You are so close to my face. I need you to like back up. God, why did I even hire you? Okay. No, come on. Wait, wait, hold on. Stop. Wait, no, back up a little more. Come closer. Just slowly. Let me just, uh. Perfect, yeah. Get the camera. I said camera, I meant candle. Okay. Anyway. Okay, no, you're you're not. Eyes on me, Chico. Anyway. So first thing we're gonna do is uh so we're gonna have to get the needle hot, which I don't I thought I broke the thing. <laughs> I really thought, it. bro, my brother, I kind of broke this before we started recording and he had to thread it again. So, yeah. But anyway, before I break it again, we're just going to, I don't know why we're going to have to get it as hot as possible. So, just going to have to. Bro, you see that smoking? Bro. Uh-oh. Okay, cut. <laughs> oh my god, guys. That took forever, but the needle is finally threaded. Uh, I couldn't do it. I literally had to ask my brother to do it. So shout out to my brother. My brother actually threaded this for me, but it's finally complete. So we have our board. Our board's officially completed, and now the needle is threaded. So... Step one was the board, step two is the needle, and now that these steps are completed, let's, you know, get into the invitation, right? <coughs> so, basically, so the invitation, so if the lights are on, turn them all off and the windows, you know, make sure the curtains are closed. Uh, we're going to turn off all the lights once we start getting closer to it and you know we're about to do the ritual place uh step two place the candle near the paper and light it using the match we're gonna light the candle not right now again you know you know we're gonna light the candle and turn off all the lights once we start <clears throat> once we start the ritual and using the sewing scissors cut a piece of thread about 20 inches length you know we, we already did that you, you just have to you just have to cut a thread with like 20 inches and then fold it, make it 10 inches. And yeah, that's what we did. That is exactly what we did. So yeah, step three, just thread the needle. In case you're wondering, just, you know, take your thread, make it 20 inches. And then I don't know why you have to use sewing scissors specifically, but they said sewing scissors. They didn't say skizzers. They said sewing skizzers. So you have to have sewing scissors uh, specifically. I don't know why. But you take your sewing scissors, you cut a 20-inch thread, and then you kind of fold it up, make it 10 inches, and then you take a needle, put the thread through the needle, tie it up, and uh, then you get this. And this is going to be our way of communicating with the spirits. It's kind of like a pendulum, basically. It's going to be our little pendulum. Summon chirter chirter. Cheddar, cheddar. I don't know how you say it. I'll probably look up how to pronounce it once we start the ritual. Don't want the spirit to get pissed off or anything. But step four, if playing with two or more participants, set the needle and thread aside and join hands. If playing alone, skip this project. I mean, I'm, my brother's going to be in the room. Like, my brother's going to be holding the camera and watching everything go down, but I'm like, going to be playing alone my brother's not actually going to be participating he's just going to be the cameraman so i assume we don't really need to do that since he's not like really doing anything so step five we can skip since it's just me 
But like, if you are playing with someone, you have to join hands and y'all have to say together, forces of darkness, I ask for your help. But if you're playing alone, then just, you know, chant the words, forces of darkness, I ask for your help. But yeah, if you're playing with someone or multiple people, you have to hold their hands. Like, join hands, rejoice. Um, <clears throat> Uh, step six, uh, six we can skip since it's just me. Step seven, hold the needle. So we gotta hold the needle um, to the candle flame, allowing the point to get as hot as possible. Step eight, remove the needle from the flame. Hold the thread by the knot, which I assume the top, at the end of it, allowing the needle to dangle over the piece of paper. Hello. I'm just going over the rules. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me just finish the rules real quick. So step nine, still holding the knot in the thread position. Um, the needle's point of the dot. The needle, uh, the, the, the needle's point at the dot in the center of the devil's illustration. So the point of the needle has to like touch the dot and stuff. Um, we have to, okay, okay, so step nine, we have to dangle it, make the needle touch the very point of the dot, and, uh, once it's touching the dot, you have to say out loud, if you're with somebody, you have to say it in unison, if you're by yourself, just say it, but you have to say, Chertic, Chertic, come, and then, right after that, you just have to say, Chertik, Chertik, are you there? And then, if you get an answer, continue the game. If you don't, then I guess, don't want to talk to you. But you know, when I play the Charlie, Charlie game, it's like, Charlie, Charlie, and then I'll ask the question. It's kind of the same thing. You say, Chertik, Chertik, and then you ask your question. And that's basically how you do the game. Now, as far as the, uh, you are, <laughs> <laughs> you are, okay. As far as, like, the banishment goes, this is intense. <laughs> All right, I got to let the people know how to banish. So, so with the banishment, after you're done with the game, you know, you have to uh, set down the needle and thread in the center of the circle and join hands if, you know, if you're playing with someone. Or if you're playing alone, you could just skip this set step, so... Um, but I'm playing alone, so we're just going to start with step two. So step two, speak out loud Damn. the words, Chedic, Chedic, be gone. Step three, if, you know, step three, um, you can skip the set because I'm playing alone. But, uh, step four, snip the thread with the sewing scissors and remove it from the needle. Hold it to the candle flame until it burns away completely. And this is the thread, by the way. You have to take the thread and you have to put the thread over the candle and the candle is supposed to just disintegrate the thread. And um, as for the needle, you have to go turn off all the lights or open the curtains and stuff. And then you have to go outside. And uh, well, first you have to dispose of the paper. You know, you can rip it up, burn it, whatever. And after you dispose of the paper, you're supposed to go outside and bury the needle underground and uh yeah you know you'll you may find in the next days or weeks you know after you play the game that you have developed a certain sensitivity to the paranormal and if you don't want that then don't play it again because apparently it's unavoidable so yep that's how you play it those are all the rules and stuff I got the board done. Board's right here, completed. The needle is thread. All we have to do is start this ritual. So um, I'll be right back when everything's set up. Go. Okay, guys. Take three. Sorry, Eli. He threaded it again. I'll try not to make you do that fourth time. This time, it's not going in. Oopsie. That's good enough. Well, I'll say a little more, just a little, little dab, little dab in. There we go. The light cut off. 
Thank you. Okay. Now, wait, what's the thing? Okay. <coughs> I think my thing's running dead. Is my is my light running dead? I don't know. I can check that. Huh? I don't know how to check that. You don't know how to? Okay, well, just use my camera light then. While you do that, I'm going to chant the spooky shit. I'm going to have to pause it real quick. Okay. Okay, so, sorry guys, I forgot to charge my light, so we're just going to use my phone light. But anyway, um, okay, here we go. We're just going to have to put it right on the dot, right on the dot, right on the dot, right on the dot. Right on the dot. Here we go, little dangle. Okay, ready? And we got to say the following words. Forces of darkness, I ask for your help. That is a creepy thing to say. Have, what else do I have to say? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, so. Okay, ready? Now that that's out the way. Churdick, Churdick, come. Okay. Apparently, Churdick, Churdick's supposed to be here now. I'm trying to keep my. See what's. Alright. <coughs> Let's, let me just let it sit still real quick, and then I'll ask it back. So, you see how still my wrist is? What are you doing? I'm just looking for him. <laughs> He's right here, bro. <laughs> anyway, Chertik, Chertik, are you there? Okay, I fucking moved. Was it just me, or did it... I swear to God, it stopped for like a sec. Did you not notice that? Okay, let me try it again. Chertik, Chertik, are you there? Bro. Bro, I swear to God. Why is this actually working? Why is this actually fucking working? Did you not see it literally just stopped in place? I'm going to take that as a yes. Chertik, Chertik, do you want to talk to me? <clears throat> Not even answering. Okay. Chertik, Chertik, if... Chertik, Chertik, if you're here, can you make this go around in circles? Chertik, Chertik, can you make it go around in circles faster? Bro. Chertik, Chertik, can you make this go in circles as fast as you can? <clears throat> I just want to test something. I don't know. I swear something's pulling up. Okay, maybe I should stop talking because I'm like... Because it would start to move and then... Did you hear that? Huh? Did you move your hand? It was like going that way. Oh, no, I didn't move my... I mean, I moved my hand over here, but not over here. Bro, it was literally like me. <clears throat> I saw it like... Yanking okay. Chertik, Chertik. Can you move this needle to yes? I don't know what it's doing. You can definitely tell that you, you can definitely tell that something's moving it, but it's not like, making any sense. Yeah, like a couple times it was like did something. I don't know if you was actually having touched it, but like still <coughs> in the place and like one my time hands was like getting yanking, tired. Like that much. <coughs> like you could tell something's moving it. It's just like it's not really answering anything. Yeah. That's it if it like waffles. <laughs> Okay. Hold on, let me just set this back. Okay. 
I guess. Oh. Chertic, Chertic, do you like waffles? I guess it doesn't like waffles. Chertic, Chertic, are you more of a pancake person? Okay. I need to stop. Let me just cover my mouth so I don't, like, blow into it. So, Chertic, Chertic, do you like pancakes or waffles? Point it to yes for waffles and point it at no for pancakes. <clears throat> It's going towards no. <laughs> Stop. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Chertic, Chertic. It was definitely leaning at no. Chertic, Chertic, just to make sure you're here, can you rotate the needle in a complete circle? Chertic, Chertic, can you move this needle in a circle as fast as you can just to let me know that you're still here? Chertic, Chertic, do you want to talk to my brother? <laughs> it went to no so fast. Oh no, I'm going to be asking the hard hand question. Chertic, Chertic, do you want to still, uh, do you want to remain talking to me? Let me just move it. Chertic? Okay, hold on. Chertic, Chertic, can you spell my name? <clears throat> Chertic, Chertic, can you spell my name for me? Yeah, that's a D. Okay, you got the T right. What's the next letter? <laughs> Yep, that's an R. Is it just me? Am I just seeing things, or did it just go to T or R? At least in those areas. Okay, mm -hmm. you got T, R. What's the next letter? There's no I in my name. What letter does my name start with? Is it actually? No fucking way. No fucking way. <coughs> like, no, this is so stupid. Like, this can't actually work. <coughs> I'm literally trying to hold my hand as still as I can. Okay, okay. <coughs> Here we go. Let me ask how old he is. Okay. Right? Chertic, Chertic, how old are you? Are you eight years old? Q. 
can you move this needle to yes if you're eight years old? This isn't making any sense. <clears throat> Something is freaking moving this needle, but they're not really directly answering my questions. <clears throat> okay, my brother is behind the camera. Can you tell me what letter his name starts with? Oh my fucking god. It went to E so fast. Okay. Do you want to try? Do you just want to ask a couple questions? You don't? Just come on. Just a couple. Yeah, but then it's going to tend to be like <clears throat> a two-player thing. Okay, just okay. ask me what questions you want to ask, and then I'll do it since you didn't really. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think of this song? Cupid. Ooh. Telling the devil what it thinks about Cupid, an angel. It's of a love. song. Okay, Chertik, Chertik. You know that song, Cu uh, Cupid. Do you like it? Yes or no? Do you like the song Cupid? Yes or no? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't work it. Chertik, Chertik? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> okay, you? Can you, can, sorry, can you repeat your name again? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Tredic, Tredic, can you tell me your name? N? I can't tell what letters it's actually going to. Oh, hmm. <clears throat> can't actually tell what letters it's going to at all. Um, let me just. Maybe you can write <coughs> wrote down like the questions you actually want to ask. Huh? Maybe you wrote the questions you wanted to ask. I already answered, asked them though. Oh. Okay. It said it's eight years old, right? So let me oh. just ask again to see if, you know, it's like, consistent. Yeah. Chertik, Chertik, how old are you? Clearly going back to eight. I said if we like dino nuggets. <laughs> Chertik, Chertik, do you like dino nuggets? <laughs> Chertik, Chertik, do you like dino nuggies? Brett is literally a moth. Chertik, Chertik, did you send that moth after us? <laughs> no. Any last questions you want to ask? Like, no. serious questions? No. I swear <coughs> like serious questions. I've been asking serious questions. I'm serious about these questions. <laughs> Chertik, Chertik. Are you a good spirit? No. Tredic, Tredic, are you a bad spirit? Let me talk. 
Oh, yes. That is a good spell. Huh? That is a good spell. What bad person would say they're bad? But it's like, like I no, I said, are you a bad spirit? Yeah, or I said, first I said, are you a good spirit? It said no. Then I said, okay, are you a bad spirit? And then it went to yes. Yeah, like what bad spirit? <clears throat> Trudic, say, Trudic. No, are you going to hurt us? Well, I guess me since I'm playing this game. Mm -hmm. Are you going to hurt me? Okay, Chertik, Chertik, am I irritating you? Do you want me to leave you alone? No. Oh, is it? Well, you have a better angle than I do. You have a better angle than I do. Okay, so. Last thing I want you to do, Chertik, Chertik. I want you to spin this needle as fast as you can. Show all the people that they better not be messy with you. All right, Chertik, Chertik. Spin this circle or spin this needle in circles as fast as you can. Not gonna lie, Tritic, Tritic, that's kind of pathetic. Spin it faster. Oh, fuck, yeah. Spin it a little faster for me, please. Okay. <laughs> My arms are getting tired, so I guess I'll just end it there. So, um... Let's show that beautiful face of yours. This is the life blinding me. Yo. Anyway, Chertik, Chertik, be gone! Man, don't be mad, man. So, we're just gonna have to cut this now. Yep. Cut, cut the thread. Cut it. And, uh, we just kinda. Cast. Huh? Do we have to burn it? It literally says just... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, it's an idiot. No, but it literally said we have to burn the thread know, into it. No, but like, be careful. That didn't work. I said <laughs> fucking burn it! <laughs> burn the thread! Burn the thread! Guys, don't try this at home. This is really dangerous. I really shouldn't be doing... Yeah, and bro, definitely not a professional. I am not. I'm really not. I gotta stand up for this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's it all. No evidence! That was good enough. Is it good? Yeah. I still see a little. Let me just... Dang. That's good enough. Just a little more. Can you move the camera? I can't see. I might have a man. The one that actually the most beautiful. I think that's good. That is good. Lights yeah. on. <coughs> Woo! We did it. Oh, turn that light on. Yeah, this one's a bit flickery. Um, okay. So what do you think about this uh, challenge? Was it a success? So, I don't know. Don't we need, like... Bury the needle. Well, we're not completely done, but yeah, oh, we yeah. do need to bury it. Yeah, so. the needle. Where is the needle? Right there. Oh, thank you. Yep. Um. <coughs> but uh, do you think the needle is like? What do you think? I mean, not the needle, but uh, what do you think about this ritual? Because. Like, you could definitely tell that something was moving it, yeah. but, like, it w it just wouldn't really answer the questions directly. Yeah. 
Bros, was, honestly, <coughs> my opinion, bro is a troll. Yeah, but like... <laughs> bro, so, like, was trolling us, dog. Yeah, but like, you could definitely tell that it was moving, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like, it wouldn't like directly answer the question. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's like foggy out here. It's not really foggy, it's cloudy. Wait, let me see the camera. Yeah. You should really invest in some night vision. Where yeah, we, I'm trying. Where are we going at? I guess very right here. Let me just... <laughs> I don't know why we gotta bury the needle, but the needle is buried. You see it? Can you nope. see it anymore? Now this place is haunted forever. <laughs> But um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other 3M challenges, uh, leave your uh, leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you notice anything in the video that we didn't let us know, like I said, something was moving the needle. It's just like it wasn't really. Yeah, like at some point, like it was like going some crazy, <laughs> like it stood still, like. It's like some of the questions it answered directly, but most of the time it was just like, I don't know. I don't know. That bro kind of scared like me, said, like going to eat you know, instantly. Yeah, when I said, <laughs> can you say the first letter of your name? Directly went to E. Yeah. But the, when it, I said, hey, how old are you? Directly yeah. went to A. And when it was naming your like name, I understand that. Like You technically have two different names. Yeah, but it's just like... like but it like started when, doing tangled nicknames. But when we started room. and I said, Cheddar, Cheddar, are you there? It it's was a, like, it was kind of going between yes and no. It was like, it's like it couldn't decide if it wanted to show talk or not. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, next 3 a.m. challenges is going to be... Okay, well, don't do that. Next 3 a.m. challenges is... Stand up. Can, I, sure, can I get my outro out? You sure not gave me this power, just saying. Give me it. Just, no, no, no. I got this. This. Give me it. I got this. Five. Four. N now three, he's kind. Two. One. Give me it. No. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if there's any other no, specific... Um... <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired. No. You just don't care to. Okay. If there's any, like, specific... Um... 3 a.m. challenge you want us to do, leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll, I mean, I kind of had to force them to come, but I mean, that wasn't really bad. You thought I was going to summon demons, which we kind of did, but kind of didn't, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next Paranormal video. Also, the podcast is now on the channel, so go watch that. The first three episodes are officially up. Yeah watch that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.